Hello everyone, my name is James. This is a continuation of my Swiss Mercs campaign in EU4 Mew in Texas. So I'm thinking something like I'm going to take I'm gonna take this province, Constance. I don't have a diplomat, so I can't show it, but I'm gonna take this province, and then I'm gonna have them release Württemberg, and then I'm gonna release Constance as a vassal. And I only want one vassal, so it's just gonna be Constance. That will eliminate Constance as a rival. And they're never going to uh, attack me again. And I'll have their... They should have one troop in war. Or one troop in peacetime and three, two or three in war. So that'll help out if I ever fight somebody or I get attacked. That'll probably be the only country I ever take. I'm going to have to siege down both of their provinces. And then I think I can grab a an alliance with Mycin. Potentially, if I improve relations with them. Because Swiss diplomatic reputation and Swiss army strength should get above 20. I just have to not be at war. So they have about... Uh, they have 8,000 troops, though they're at war right now. I think they have around five to 6,000 troops, so they're basically the equivalent of Milan or Austria in terms of an ally. I wanted to uh, ally Bohemia because that would be the uh, ultimate alliance, but they're at their limit. But if I vassalize Furstenberg, that would remove them. Unfortunately, they have, they're over their diplomatic relations by eight. And my army's kind of weak, so that's not really going to happen. So, Mycin, apparently, I guess they took a bunch of territory from that last war that we helped them win. They took this. Looks like they took these three. So, they're actually getting pretty strong themselves. So, yeah, we're going to... That's the current plan, at least. So, this is a fort level 2... Go ahead and take those troops. I don't think I ever got the uh, troop from the... One of the estates never gave me their troop. I think the one that was supposed to be in Thurgau. Go ahead and take a troop off. These shouldn't go... They shouldn't be too bad. The fort defense in this province is negative 5. And 26% there. And I have two, two siege generals, so... Should be pretty quick. Yeah, they will accept. So I'll probably dump Grishin. This one is six, so... I think that should be good. We could do a debate. Manpower recovery speed. It's interesting. 
I guess that only pops up if you're at war. I think every time you reload the game, it gives you new debates. So I don't know, is that, uh, what's the consensus on that? Is that cheating if I, like, load up the game multiple times? Like, I just wait and do it to try and get the money one? I mean, come on, I'm never going to do the treason act. Like, that's just horrible. I would do this one if I had money. But I don't really have money. You know what? We'll just do imports. I'll just take whatever they give me for now. I mean, it's not like I'm really... I'm not... I wouldn't say it's cheating, but it's... Probably not in the spirit of the game, I would imagine. Let's see, monasticism, we're going to do Cisternian monks. There's a lot of wars going on. Unless this is just one war. No, there's all of a sudden a lot of wars. There's the Legion Conquest of Ostletsburg, Furstenberg. That's actually my war right here. Okay, so there's only two wars going on. Mine and whatever one Meissen is fighting. Come on, this is 16%. It shouldn't be this, uh... Shouldn't be this much trouble. Let's go ahead and recall that guy. Alright, so I take Constance, and then Württemberg is released. Probably Ducats as well. Can't do war ups. I'm taking Ducats because of the defensive war. I feel like taking uh, Ducats and war ups during defensive wars makes sense, but offensive wars... It's not cheating, but it feels weird. So defensive wars, it's okay. Offensive wars, it's not, which is why I didn't take any when I conquered these countries over here. Greater nobles gain 5 loyalty, gain 10 army tradition, or lose 5 army tradition, gain professional army professionalism, burgers gain loyalty. Don't really need anything with the burgers, so we're going to go ahead and safeguard the ancient traditions. We'll leave it for now. It's kind of stuttery. The burgers lose two loyalty because this war has been going on for a long time. Alright, looks like that war ended. Looks like uh, Liege won because they have that province now. 
kind of wanted to rent out Kandatiari back to mice, and that would have been nice. Alright. Yeah. I think I'd rather have Württemberg as a vassal. Because they have 26 developments. Furstenberg has 6. But I don't want both of them as a vassal. So that was my thinking with that. Furstenberg doesn't have any cores, right? Not on my territory. Furstenberg is claim, claim, claim. Alright, I don't want to lose any other territory if I release them. We demand their full annexation, they release Württemberg as a sovereign state, they pay us 30 ducats, we get 26. I'm going to dump Grishin as an alliance, or... Yeah, I mean, I have to dump them eventually, so I might as well just dump them now. Go ahead and throw my favors. To increase their trust. Sorry, Grishin. Oh, that is crap. So that troop was the greater nobles because that province was taken. They never spawned. So that troop disappeared into the ether, and now we lose 10 loyalty with the greater nobles. It's a good thing I didn't... Uh... Didn't take anything from the Greater Nobles, otherwise I would have been I would have lost fifteen, they'd be at thirty-nine percent. Wait a minute. Would Bohemia accept? No. Okay. I don't know why that... I didn't actually look at the positives, but that jumped up to 84 positive, and then it was like still negative 86. Negative 86 reasons not to, so I was... That was weird. Alright, let's go ahead and... Cancel military access with thumb. Cancel with thumb. Release Constance. Improve relations with them. I'm going to delete a Merc unit. Let's get rid of that. Tyrone, that's uh, Ireland. All right, there's no no European wars. All right, I've been putting off doing this, but we're going to ally, not ally, uh, rival Austria.
I've also been waiting f to build my capital until I had a row to burn, but... I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just gonna cost a lot. I'm sorry, Grishan. But you have to join... You have to join this the Empire. Let's go ahead and do that... Uh, spy network on them. They're probably going to join one of the trade leagues. Genoa doesn't have a trade league anymore because their their prestige dipped below negative fifty, and they're currently at negative fifty six. So it's getting worse apparently. So they can really only join Venice's. Dim. Dip army maintenance a little bit. Let's go ahead and just immediately cut down the tribute. So I'm going to move the capital to Basel and then probably build a town hall rank 1 there. I want a little bit more of a treasury in case I do get into another war so I could build mercs potentially like I did last time. Probably being a little overcautious, but I'd rather be overcautious than uh, overly reckless, I suppose. Brandenburg is fighting somebody. The Brunswicker Conquest of Altmark. Brunswick looks like a big nation. Do you want Condottieri Brunswick? They'd pay 2.3 if they could. Oh no, Brunswick declined. We did ally Meissen, Miesen, whatever their name is, so we can get military access through them. We have military access through Constance. I think we would need to go through Württemberg, and then this province, and then Bamberg. So that would be three, but then we could get... We could get up to them. And we have one... Go ahead and cancel military access with France. Don't really need that now. That gets us to two extra. Because I could cancel the uh, military access from the lawn. Get military access through them, and then improve relations with this country. And also Bamberg. 
Alright, I'm going to end this part here, probably rent out to Brunswick in the next part, and then uh, go from there. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.